Well, we have some of the best weather of the year this week. And, awesome. uh, yeah, we had two great days in a oh, row. Oh, yeah. Is it going to keep going? We're going to keep this train rolling. All right. I mean, let's keep this thing going. And it's really a nice night outside, although it's cooling off right now. And I guess that's, I don't know if it's helpful or not for the crews right here working on the top deck of the Markham Bridge, like we've been bringing out live reports throughout the newscast tonight. 49 degrees, so we're cooling off a little bit of a breeze. Wind sheltered areas already in the mid 40s tonight. I think we're going to stay in the 40s overnight. The air's warmed up. We hit 68 in Portland, 70 in Salem today, warmer. It is down south and over towards uh, those of you in the Dalles. Now, I want to show you a couple time lapses. Remember today how it was just virtually clear all day long? I mean, you know, an occasional high cloud that was it. Tomorrow looks like a repeat here in the valley, except fewer clouds. And along the coast, it's the same thing. Fewer clouds than we saw today. We saw just a couple at our Tolavana in camera in Cannon Beach. What about this picture? This has got to be the shot of the day. Carol went to the Woodland Washington Tulip Festival. So going north to see the tulips and look at those fields. That is incredible. And the tulips running ahead of schedule this year. They are just really uh, amazing. And it's because of our weather. Now, tomorrow, uh, we're going to get rid of the high clouds. They're clearing out right now, the ones that we saw occasionally, especially over the mountains. They're out of here. High pressure is rebuilding. Our storm track is way out here. I mean, we just don't have any rain anywhere close to us right now. And with high pressure building in again tomorrow, it's another sunny day, but it's also going to be warmer. Now, why would it be warmer if it's kind of the same setup as we had today? It's a shift in the wind. That's going to be the key factor. There's not much wind out there right now, but early tomorrow morning, some of the winds start to come from the northeast. Those northeast winds increase as we go through the day. And you know what? That is a warm, dry wind. And so that will actually warm us more than the sun could do by itself. North coasters, you guys may make 70 tomorrow. It'll be cooler along the central coast. How about mid 70s for the I 5 corridor, including a 76 in Salem? A little breezy at times, though. 60s and 70s on the board here in central and eastern Oregon. It was really cold there this morning, not as cold tomorrow. 40s for lows in the gorge and 70s for highs. 60 for a high at government camp. Sunshine all the way around. I mean, just Almost no clouds. It's going to be tough to find any. 42 for a morning low, 75 for an afternoon high in Portland. How about the west side? Well, 74 in Hillsborough and 75 in Tualatin and Lake Oswego. Over to the east side we go, Damascus 73. Milwaukee 75 degrees and PDX hitting 75. It'll be 75 in Vancouver and 73 in Scappoose and that breezy northeast wind at times. But sunshine from the start. I mean, it's a sunglass day for sure. You'll get your money's worth out of that, or if you have a convertible, or at least a sunroof. I mean, I've got a sunroof. I, I'll take it. You know, that's better than nothing. Check this out. Since dinner time, I've extended the warm stretch. Thursday, uh -huh. we knew it would still be warm, but Friday now, it looks like the system that was going to start cooling us off may be on hold until Friday night. And oh. that will give us another day in the 70s. Let's keep it on hold. Friday. Like I said, we're going to keep this train rolling All a right. few more days. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> well, the